actually draws right. the ban on Jace. We saw the amount of speed and utility that Gate was giving them late game, and everybody, the stampede came from a different direction. Yeah, bringing Jace back, I think it had a lot to do with the tier uh, buff there. That mm -hmm. and Rise, both of those champions really loving that item. So they've increased in popularity. But same old thing here from Dig. Love those support solo laners. Grabbing up the Lulu early. Soraka is still available, though. That one's been banned against uh, Dignitas before. So maybe they will have another chance to go double support solo lanes. And reiterating that Curse did lose out on a ban on this one. Dominate hovering over Elise. He may be able to lock that in. It does give him the aggression he wants in the early game because he won't be getting his Pantheon. I believe Curse now will have 11 bans against them in Pantheon. It's one of the most of any champion. Yeah, Pantheon, uh, one of Dominate's favorites. Mm -hmm. He was one of the first to really have success on that champion in the LCS as well. So a lot of people very afraid of that yeah. when Curse is their opponents. And that Trundle, once again, wasn't the same build. He didn't go back-to-back -back speed build on Trundle. <laughs> He is going to try to do it again, and he is quite a formidable force in that top lane. It really is an all-around pretty good pick up mm -hmm. there for the top. Um, and locking in early, they still go to that matchup yeah. uh, for Cruiser with another tank. Cruiser has been one that plays mainly tanks up in the top lane. He's not one of the like Zion Spartan style right. that love carry and then doesn't have a Yasuo uh, Jax. Had to play tanks, right? Cruiser though, I'm still waiting for that Cruiser Lee Sin. Oh, yeah, I yeah. guess we'll be waiting forever. We <laughs> still have not seen it. And it will be the same old Shivana versus Trundle matchup. Same old, same old, but it may not end the same. We'll have to see what each other can provide in form of you know aggression for their own teams and how much pressure they can relieve off the map. We'll see what the compositions fold out to because we're figuring out where Dominate's going to be going in the jungle. Who is he going to be get going in this game? Uh, like probably at least, yeah, uh, with at least locked in. I think well, that's no, going to be who's in the he jungle. Get going. Uh, yeah, saying. what lane? Yeah. Uh, but I mean, this dig team, Sivir is still up, so mm -hmm. Chris not even mousing over Sivir uh, makes me think that uh, Dignitas might go with that one because they have a lot of speed already with the Lulu. If they go with Sivir, then they're going to have giant trace potential towards that end game. Shivana's always a big fan of having Sivir on her team, but Cop does lock in the Draven. Very excited to see, uh, you know, how many stacks he can rack up before he actually gets a kill. There was that one game where he got over 600 stacks. Yeah. But was not able so to close. land a kill. So close to getting a kill. Yeah. Didn't cash it in. The Thresh actually goes over to Bunny Fufu this time. The Kha'Zix coming in here for oh, yeah. Crumbs. It's going to be quite nice. Kiwi Kid gets his Annie, as we said he probably would. Lucian was already locked in. Why was I talking about Sivir? That's ridiculous. Because she right. was left out of the game, <laughs> and that is interesting, especially right. with the amount of play she's been getting. Now, Kha'Zix, though, with Lulu is great. You know, of obviously the shields and the speed, um, definitely beneficial for him mm -hmm. to be able to reposition and kill the low health targets. What are Curse going to run with here? And last time we saw Skara play Kha'Zix, he did upgrade that ultimate first. Yeah. Uh, with Lulu being locked in and Annie locked in, I think it's a Lulu mid, yep. and it's going to be Kha'Zix coming from the jungle. So Crumbs this time around going to handle that. And a jungle Kha'Zix especially, mm -hmm. I really doubt that he'll upgrade that ulti first. But yeah. it is a possibility. Meanwhile, Curse, uh, you talked about where's Dominate going to go to get someone uh, an early lead. I think Cop would be a great choice because Draven, definitely a snowball champion, if they can get that first yeah. kill for him, uh, then coming back to lane with an early BF sword or even early completed Bloodthirster, he just gets a ginormous power spike. You know, Bunny Fufu has been playing that Leona, but a lot of people know him for his thrash in himself towards that top 10 challenger at one point in time, and he definitely hits those hooks. It's going to be something that they have to respect. It's his we favorite heard. champion. Yeah. yeah, he's really happy to have that one. And it combos so well with Draven, who does not have his own escape. That's a very aggressive lane, mm -hmm. likes to shove up. Uh, and it's definitely the lane that I'm looking for Dominate to gank right. because Nidalee mid, not the best to go for ganks. She has nothing to set it up. It's just pretty much all in the jungler for the CC, and Nidalee will just add damage. Trundle, very similar thing. I mean, he's got pillar, uh, but he's not going to be too aggressive early versus Shivana. So I think a lot of moves from Dominate will be into the enemy jungle and also focus towards the bottom lane. All right, we'll have to see a lot of times. Curse, or teams that play against Curse, I should say, make sure they get Dominate counter-jungled quite early, whether mm -hmm. it's the blue or the red. 
it's going to be quite hard for him to get going if they do that again. Teams have made their selections. Let's take a look at who you at home voted for at lolesports.com. And it's 69% of you calling this game for Dignitas. All right, a lot of Dig fans. Yeah. A lot of 70-30s this week. It's getting closer. Yeah. Not as many 90 vote, 90% mm -hmm. votes. Everybody's afraid. There was that over 90 curse where if you were 90, 94, 6%, and the 6% would win or whoever had the 10%. It gets kind of scary. Quas is also running teleport uh, here on that trendle. So he will have that advantage over Cruiser because Cruiser is going with the tried and true Ignite for his combat, uh, early combat there with Trendle. See if he can get that kill. And Crumb's coming in with the Kha'Zix. Talked about people liking to invade, dominate. Kha'Zix is great for early yeah. invades if you can find the jungler by themselves. Easy to isolate and mm -hmm. also easy to renew your passive as Kha'Zix in the jungle. A lot, of a lot of brush for you to move in and out of. Crumbs has also been a proponent of bringing on the jungler to jungler aggression just overall. Really a great game on Eve yesterday as well for his team. We've seen that. Come up a few more times in the NALCS now. One win, one loss, I believe it would be. Oh, with another loss actually in there from before on Crumbs. So not too bad, but the choice is here. Kha'Zix versus Elise as we started off. We'll be watching this mid lane quite close as well. We'll see how Voiboy fares off against Scara. We know Scara's been on that Lulu. Voiboy has not shown too much in Italy this season. No, he hasn't. He's been very assassin heavy and yeah. literally not obviously an assassin. But going up against Lulu, very hard to lane as an assassin. Yeah, and Italy's really just trying to sustain through this lane, not get bullied out. We'll have to see if Scara can make these early moves too because Link has really been one uh, to show up big with the uh, roaming Lulu very early. And it was very effective for CLG. Mm -hmm. If Scar can shove up the lane on Nidalee, which he should be able to do early, very easily, then he's got the possibility of trying to get a side lane going by making those early roams from yep. Lulu. So we'll have to watch the ward coverage from Curse around the mid lane, see if they can keep track of Scar. Going to get a ward down for himself, Bunny Fufu, Foo Foo just on the outside of that in the Fog of War. Let me see that it is the Doran start for Bunny in the bottom lane, actually. Goes for Biscuits, of course. But it's Spell Thieves has for Kiwi Kid as we see that gold. He wants it, and he's also going to get the auto attacks in. <laughs> Cops enjoying himself, getting the spirits of the team up. Looks like Kiwi Kid won't find anything as Crumbs is left to his own. Getting this red. Yeah, and we have Dominate starting up at his red, so his route, he'll have double buffs down by the bottom side if he decides to go for that early gank bottom to get Draven rolling. He will uh, pretty much be guaranteed a no counter gank there as Crumb mm. is probably going to be ending his route up top. Very nice harass and wave clear at the same time, just at level one, causing Boy Boy to sit back a little bit. But he'll be all right with that but heal the going on. The invade there for Crumbs, though. Uh, he has yep, walked he right past the ward. It's going to be quite difficult for them to keep going on this. We see that Scara already has Voiboy pushed up to the turret, so he doesn't want to lose too much of that. Great auto so attack there for warden. Dominate. <laughs> Red buff uh, ticking on Crumbs. And he got the ward down, so they should know about this. Scara trying to take advantage of the early shove that he was able to accomplish with Lulu, though. Big for Crumbs. His smite is up, but I don't think they like this. The bottom lane is beginning to move. The communication comes from Cutie Pie and Kiwi Kid that it's not safe anymore. Yeah. They try. Dignitas goes for it. Crumbs is still going to be quite all right with his jungle. Yeah, he lost out a lot of time there. Yep. And they were really counting on that uh, mid lane power from Skara. He was able to move over after shoving the lane in, but um, good ward there from Dominate. Had not wasted his trinket ward. And that one inside the blue buff is going to mean he does have a lead in the jungle. Crumbs did waste a lot of time there. Ooh, boy, boy, throwing down those surges to heal himself and also farm under the turret a little bit better with the attack speed steroid, but his mana pool is empty and he keeps taking glitter lances from Skara, who's already had that invade in the jungle, but it didn't come out of anything. Like we said, they like to get in Dominate's jungle, but that time he was able to stop it. And this time around, he is heading bottom. The early gank, so he's trying to set it up. He could have actually gone down the river. He does not know this, though. It's uh, old jungler's tendency yeah. not to try and gank bottom lane through the river just because they assume there's wards there. But with the, you know, people just relying on trinkets, there are oftentimes no ward at all in the river here. 
And as you can see, Kiwi Kid and Cutie Pie are playing with the River Dark. And I like They're Kiwi trying Kid. to force it. Kiwi Kid sitting one spell off of the stun. He tries to throw it out. He can't get the second one off to even stun. Huge there it plays is. from Curse. So calling for the early ganks from Dominate down bottom is to get Cop the kill so he can cash in some stacks. Bunny Fufu actually got the kill. So Cop has not been able to <laughs> make anything uh, out of that adoration. It is so early, though, that he wasn't able to stack too much up yet. Right. It's almost good. He, he, really wants, to he wants to stack more before he clears well, it out it's anyway. Yeah, it's not good, but <laughs> Bunny Fufu will go good. for that one with his excuse. <laughs> that's the that's a excuse he'll take. Chalk it up for Bunny Fufu. Four minutes, 50 seconds into the game. Good pressure by Dominate in the bottom lane, even though he found a little bit of aggression in his own jungle. That's 700 gold in the lead here. Let's see what Dignitas tries to get back from this as Crumbs is hovering on the bottom. Yeah, cop up to uh, around 80 stacks there for his adoration, so getting a little bit now. But really the main point is that they're able to zone Cutie, uh, keep him away from the rest of those last CS. Yep. And Crumbs has gotten a very deep ward, so the same thing does not happen. They get ganked by an Elise through the lane, immediately go to ward that spot up, so they can protect themselves. It's a lane bully on lane bully here with Lucian versus Draven. A good bit of CS lead there, about 15 grabbed up by Cop when Kiwi Kid was back. Like you said, Cutie Pie getting a little zoned, and we'll see if Curse tries to hold that lead or even push it a little bit more. Dominate had made his way all the way to the top lane, so we won't see any pressure from him. Cop gets himself, or Quaz rather, gets himself back to lane on the teleport. Got himself that early vamp scepter. It's very good for Trundle. Gets increased sustain for himself with his ability. Mm -hmm. Just staying alive. That kind of helps in the top lane, especially when you're on an island. Usually you need some extra resources on an island, and that will help. Still that one kill for Curse. Not much they can really work off of it as Dignitas is going to be playing a little bit more weary now. So Curse would have to go for the extra edge to get the next kill. Yeah, so really that kill kind of changes the dynamic of this uh, dragon area and the red side jungle mm -hmm. up dig because Lulu Ouch. definitely should be bullying Nidalee in lane, which, which Scar has been. And the bottom lane uh, was going to be even there. Dominate did get the, get the steal away here. Farm buddies. Um, but now that he's ensured the bottom lane is winning, he can invade this red side jungle over and over. And that ward at the Wraith Bush is crucial for them. The only problem there for Dominate is that Crumbs was there. He saw the ward go down. So Crumbs can work around that ward if he really ha uh, wants to. Repeat visit down bottom, though. Dominate is level five. Not going to get a huge. They should have called out this jungle invade, too. Yeah. There's not know that much he's movement here. from Dignitas here. They're worried about what's coming from the backside. They didn't say Dominate's oh, going to be on that man. side already. Good stuns, though. Kiwi Kid was ready with the stun on that one. Yeah, they got the flash from uh, Cutie mm -hmm. and he That was a very necessary flash because Bunny Poo Poo's death sentence was almost through there. But yeah, I think that after the exchange at Wraith Camp, Crumbs, uh, uh, the communication there from Dignitas should have been that the possibility of a gank, repeat gank down bottom for at least was there. Good burst there from Boy Boy, hitting level 6, going aggressive. Very good burst from Boy Boy. Three levels into the Primal Surge on his E. Looks like he's going to keep that one going. Quickly farming in front of the turret and the harass. He's winning the trades here until Skara can get it under the turret, and then yeah. Boy Boy tries to give it back. He's very happy with how that early game went. Nearly just trying to sustain until you get to that level 6. Now he's got great wave clear. Um, even though it is melee range, he's going to have to go <laughs> into cat form. It's still good wave clear. Crumbs, uh, or Cruiser. Uh-oh. He did just use the Dragon's Descent. Almost has it back up in time, but the Flash is forced. Yeah, not quite. Play a little dangerous. Of that Fury. Oh! There's some extra gold. Nice try by Bunny Foo Foo trying to make plays in the bottom lane. No sixes yet, but they're pretty much this wave and just the beginning of the next off. Cutie Pie and Kiwi Kid are going to get the lane to themselves for now, and Curse. We're going to see what Cop and Bunny Fufu come back to the lane with. Dragon could be not up quite soon, but ready for the teams to fight quite soon. And it's been up for a little yeah. bit. Cop has, you know, over 2K gold there. He's uh, not wanting to go back just for a Bloodthirster. Just yep. He really wants to get a giant purchase, I guess. Yeah, 2.1K. He's going to have a big, big purchase when he goes back. So pretty much both teams wait until everybody gets their ultimates, which is now almost there for Bunny Fufu and almost there for Kiwi Kid. Man, if Dominic gets this pink ward 
this early? Oh, he didn't, he didn't actually see it. It would have been very successful invade right there, but instead of killing the pink ward, he immediately goes for the dragon. Uh, cop calling out that the bottom lane had recalled, so they have full control of this area. Oh. Dig's gonna be going on this, the extra push in the top lane from Cruiser. Quan says he's still here. You guys are good to go on the bottom, and they didn't get. Yeah. Whatsoever I mean, from, Cruiser, from he's being that. a little bit annoying, but he's not getting much done. Uh, anything special there for the team. Quas is actually ahead in CS, and the Dragon, through that great communication mm -hmm. of Curse, they're able to secure it and just uh, unanswered objective there. So in a really amazing start here for Curse. Since Dominate's yeah. ward that he placed on the backside of that red was cleared out as well, they definitely know that pink ward is there. And Dignitas, not too far behind, but Scar himself said they need to get some plays out in the early game. Being about 2,000 gold behind right now isn't a lot. The next Dragon could really turn that around, especially with Crumbs' ultimate. Going to be providing a lot more damage than Dominate, just getting another Spider in there. So, Still got to see if Crumbs can have an impact. He's got his Lizard finished. Looks like he's going to be trying to help out the lanes a little bit more. Already hover in the bottom. Yeah, he's, he's going to hover around, look for that counter gank. Dominate trying to get Kopp uh, to cash in mm -hmm. on his 190 stacks of adoration right now. Waiting in the pink hoarded bush. Let's see which jungler has more patience. Which one's going to back off first here? Looks like Dominate. Not wanting to stick out this one. And neither is Crumbs. <laughs> Impatient but no kills to come of this. Actually, Crumbs on the return here, he may be just trying to mind game. There's not too much behavior and movement coming out of Cop yeah, and I Bunny like, Foo, Foo to show that they know. I like the neutral movement here mm -hmm. from Cop and Bunny Foo, Foo Even though they don't have a ward in that tri-bush, because they're playing safe when the wave is pushed up, Crumbs has to be second-guessing himself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, did they have some kind of prior knowledge? What's going on here? I, I've got a pink ward. Why are they playing so safe? Well, Crumbs has a little time to hang out. He is down an assist, but he got himself up in CS, even though we saw him in Curse's jungle in the beginning of the game. Didn't get anything off of that. Slowed him down a little. So we're still waiting for him to kind of get a kick there, in the, uh, the kickstart, rather, to get him going. And this is why Cop is such a consistent AD carry. He doesn't have to be pushed up in the lane at all. He's not even, there's mm -hmm. no risk of losing the CS. You can see the minion's not about to go down. Uh, when, he, when they do get in danger of that range, then he'll finally move up. But he's he's one that will give up a CS if it means extending himself into a dangerous position. See what Dominate can do to put Cruiser in just that. Whoa. He'll be safe. His they flash pinged, out, is still they pinged out Crumbs here. They know where Crumbs is, even though Crumbs is going super deep into the jungle. He's going all the way around. Looks like he does want to get eyes on Dominate. They're going to have it in the top lane, though, so he knows he can be safely down here. Uh huh. Gonna get a nice ward, maybe steal the Wraith, maybe get a dive on the turret with the ping. So, Cop, when they saw Crumbs invade the blue side, went and warded the mm -hmm. back side of that bottom lane. It's a very good defensive ward from Cop uh, so that they don't get dove by Crumbs. And since Crumbs is on this blue side of the map, they know that the only thing he could take is that white, which has no secondary jungle uh, monsters there. So, even if he does take it, It'll respawn, and there will be nothing gained from that invasion from Crumbs. So Dominate, even though he had to show out in lane up top, he didn't lose out anything. I like the Lantern throw down. It was a little bit behind Cop as well, too. He was in range to start the fight with Stand Aside, so they're playing mind games here in the bottom lane. Bunny Foo Foo working that Thrash mechanic. Crumbs really Trying wants to scare make people. use of this. I mean, Annie's level 7 now. Tibbers is yeah. available. Flash is available. Oh, look where Cutie Pie's putting himself. They want to fight. Yeah. There oh, it is. they want to fight a lot. Bunny Foo Foo gets a good flash out. The box goes down, and only Tibbers makes it in. So Flash Tibbers down, and nobody died. That's a pretty big win for Curse, but they still are under pressure at the turret, and Dominate is at his red. Nowhere to be found. So they're going to do their best to try and defend this, but it's still dangerous. Kiwi Kid going to have to work to get his stun back up, though. He's casting a couple spells already. Moan Shield down, trying to get the stacks ready. Quite close. Cop's going to be able to easily farm this out. They're not even going to put Tibbers in his face to be a nuisance. There's a little bit of a roam coming down from Boy Boy, but everybody started to back off, so Boy Boy goes back home as well. Gets the Athenes on Holy Grail. That's going to be matched up in mid now. 
Only a Doran's ring on the side of Boy Boy is what he has extra versus Skara, who's been doing quite well. It's 130 to 121 in that mid lane, but we haven't seen Skara getting around the map with that Lulu. We haven't seen Boy Boy trying to get around either. Yeah, they've just been farming up in that mid lane. I have to say that's going pretty well for Boy Boy in the, as far as that matchup is. He's sustaining exactly how Nidalee wants to. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, it's been Crumbs camping bottom, while Dominate has been more spread out around the map. And he's paid some attention to this top lane. So Quas is definitely feeling pretty good about his situation. Crumbs going to be countering. Skara nicely pushes up the lane once again, but can the Spear come in? It cannot. Skara picks that up. He's going to walk over the pink ward, so at least Curse will have their timing on that. It's going to really help Void Boy when they get to the Siege mode if he can keep throwing those Spears. Keep healing up his team. Keep him in the lane. 28 seconds from Dragon. We're going to see a lot of motion from both teams. I wouldn't be surprised if yep, Quas comes straight down, not to the top lane. Very interested to see where that rotation will be. Um, Quas does have Teleport. So he still has the option of going back top to farm. And they already have deep wards on the blue mm -hmm. side. So the possibility is there that he could keep doing that and then try and make use of the teleport for this dragon that comes up. Um, but it looks like you know, he's, he's a little hesitant to use that teleport early. And since he's already down here, might as well just walk over to the dragon instead. Well, Cruiser is making the long haul as well. He won't really pass through too many wards. You don't have much time with Elise. Top. She burns yeah. that sucker down. Getting all frenzied. Bringing in her friends as well. A good smite down. No contest coming in. And that is going to be Dragon 2 of 2 going over to Curse. That's going to be a 2.5 thousand gold lead. 16 minutes into the game. And still only that one kill. Dignitas has definitely put on the brakes for any aggression. There's after the that bottom lane. Back. Yep. Using it to get back up. Look at wave to clear too. Yeah, man. Definitely he's made feeling big really good about his CS. And in that matchup. Uh, you know, Shivana always, or often, often for yeah. the damage instead uh -oh. of the tank stats. Oh, Boy Tremendo, Boy, though. indeed. That's the barrier down. One more glitter lance. He flashes it. Can't get the spear back out, but a good trade from Scar. It takes control mid. Yeah, way too aggressive there from Boy Boy. It costs him both his summoners. Scar just burning Ignite uh, and his ulti in that one, but it gives him complete control of the mid lane. Crumb's able to Ooh. find Dominate. Crumb's fighting other He jungles. has nowhere to go. He can go to the wolf or right back where he dropped from. There's Scar's flash down. That was real close, but Quas actually getting himself to the bottom oh, lane. He man. was already roaming, putting the pieces in motion as he saw them from across the map. Man, Scar uses his offensive flash. Oh, oh buddy, oh, Fufu, oh, come take, take the lancer! No, he gets he it. it. It's going to be Kiwi Kid. They get a good lock up. Cutie Pie could be in the wrong spot, but wait a minute. Comes from the backside. The jump, cop. Oh, he gets oh, the he flash. Got he gets the kill. Draw between Lucian and Draven. Uh, Cop had 300 stacks of adoration there, though, so he got a lot of bonus gold. A flurry of action, and Quas is actually the king of the mid lane here. He takes out Skara and takes his turret. Woo! He was just getting everybody all tense. He Man, knew, he knew I, the lane. He was like, I could not believe that Cop was not going to take that lantern. He, Cop wanted to get that one <laughs> last CS before he came over for the kill. Bunny Fufu had a great setup there. This yeah. is why Thresh is one of his favorite champions. He pulled it out at the perfect time, and Cop catches his axe. That's what he was going <laughs> back for. Okay, that's what it was. That's actually a good move by Cop. He's, he had more DPS yeah. when he came in, so it wasn't a CS. Making fun of him for no reason. It was a good, cho good choice by him, uh, and they do eventually draw. So he he went all in for that kill versus uh, Lucian there because he was running away from Crumbs at the same time. He looks happy with himself. Made the best of a bad situation as it started. Crumbs on a good roam, though. Like we said, once he hit that six, the power surge that you don't really see come out of Elise, and he's been using it, starts to build more damage for himself. And the junglers are really putting up a fight for both teams here, giving him a good reason to get a lead. That's going to be still 2,000 gold waving in the side of Curse. Four to two in kills. Dignitas able to pick up turrets on the map, though. All, All right. three on the outer. Let's take a look at what Dominate can accomplish bottom lane hmm. here. Uh, waiting around for another lantern, but it looks like it took too long. Now, since Cop had the adoration and uh, was able to catch that in, he's got a last whisper to only the brutalizer there from Cutie Pie. Feeling pretty good about that. Think of the tosses, deep wards in this game. They have one around the red buff, another one that Boy Boy just jumped over. They have complete vision of the back area of Curse's jungle here, and it's going to allow Dig to just push up. Big line of scrimmage and keep the power on. 
Right now with the, looks like it's going to be the Rabadons coming out from Skara, but he buys a Blasting one first there. Going to be a lot of damage coming out from Lulu. He's already starting to push Void Boy out of that mid lane. Yeah, and Quas able to get the red buff for himself. I am a big fan of the tanks using red buff because they get a lot of auto attacks off and then team fights as well. Helps them chase down their targets. Mm -hmm. Chase them down pretty well. That's a good pillar. Spear is not Crumbs doing too much go. damage yet. Yeah, the team goes in. There's a wild growth. Buddy Fufu on the outside for the Lantern, but does Quaz have enough to get out? He throws down Another the gate. It'll be all right. We'll be able to re-engage here, and it looks like they decide not to. Talisman of Ascension used on the side of Bunny Fufu for that one. Yeah. Uh, ulti out of Scar there, too, mm -hmm. with the jump in from Crumbs. If Boy Boy can heal himself up after getting this blue buff, then they can actually go for a siege. There's a bottom outer turret still up for Dignitas right now. Yep. And, I mean, a blue buff in Italy would be pretty good sieging up down there, but no more really uh, important deep vision here as the entire jungle of Dignitas is dark and the red buff's already been taken there yep. first, so those extra wards not going to help that much. Yeah, but Chris needs to pressure this lead a little bit more. They have one minute. It's about the time you'll Did see you a find team. The pink? He found the pink. Of course. Sometimes you have to walk by the brush you're going here after the 10 times that's you gotta walk make, by it. That's got to make Quas a little nervous here. Okay, so he's going to play safe, back off, because all their vision of that red side is gone. Cutie Pie still down bottom, though. Mm -hmm. So it's really uh, Curse's time to make a move. This would be interesting for Crumbs to be up top during Dragon Time, but they maybe see be him. able to get a kill off here. They still got 40 seconds, so there's some time to play with. And like you said, Quas, a little more unsure about his movement, starts heading back towards home. They clear out his ward, though. Yeah. He's got to play safe. Bunny Poo Poo goes down to one versus one. Cutie Pie. Let's see how this one turns out. The cop's going to go help him. Whoa! Looks like uh, Q's getting a bit leveled up there for Void Boy at now level 13. We see actually Cutie Pie himself going again for the Ghost Blade on seconds. Lucian. Teleport is up. So that's why they're leaving Quas up top while Cruiser is roaming mm -hmm. down. They want this 5v5, it looks like. And in this smite war, this is basically the two best smiting junglers. Kha'Zix and Elise, they both can combo abilities. Very powerful executes with their dragon, uh, with their smites. So this is a very, very dangerous dragon here for both teams, actually. Oh, and it goes to oh, Dives Dominate. right into the hook. They do get the dragon over the side of Curse. That's going to be the third one of the game. But can they come up with a win? It does look like they can. Cop, big damage. It's going to be big gur damage on the Kiwi Kid as they just keep it going. The axe is being caught. It's like a circus for Curse right now. That is a giant win. Curse just took a commanding lead in this game. Let's take a look at it here. Dominate goes right into spider form for the execute as Crumbs jumps in. Teleport comes from Quas. He joins the fight, and Dignitas just get murdered. Kiwi Kid was not there for the beginning of the fight, and once he shows up, he doesn't get to do anything. He gets cocooned into the death sentence from Bunny Fufu. They need that Annie to be the beginning of their team fights. It, Dignitas wins yeah. team fights always come when they have the initiation. Like the, uh, yesterday, at least, it was always the flash initiation for Kiwi Kid, but he was not there at the beginning. They got destroyed. Curse does what they do best when they can. After taking an early lead, they take a huge lead. Now about 6,000 gold in their favor as they go from Dragon to Baron. Boy Boy level 14, highest in the game. He's the only one. No, Quas is also 14 on his team. So they have the advantage in multiple spots, in levels, in items, and on positioning in the map. Man, that also means a completed death cap on Nidalee. Yep. 23 minutes Athene's death cap in Italy is so much pain for any sort of siege here, even without the blue buff. Uh, he's got the Athenes to rely on for mana regen. If a, even a couple of those hit. Cutie Pie, Kiwi Kid, they're prime targets. Oh, it's got to be tough for Dig as well. They reach this point in the game where Curse can now start the siege. And there are that 6,000 gold up. It makes it so much harder to even get back a few shots. And the counter for these poke comps like Cursor running is hard engage, yep. which is Flash Annie Tibbers there. It's available for Dig. They are behind, There's but flash. he goes for it. There's the Tibbers. He gets 
taken out immediately. No, Kiwi nobody Kid, else follows. first one into the fight, first one out of the fight. It looks like they're going to be able to get Cop another kill here. He's doing super well for his team. The turret's going to be going down. Curse is looking quite strong. Yeah, nobody else is going to follow that one. Uh, and that's going to be an easy inhibitor here for Curse. Rolling through this base right now. That gold advantage is just way too much right now. I don't know. That was definitely some miscommunication there, I think, for Dignitas. A game where all of Curse have definitively stepped up this time. It's not Boy Boy trying to carry on something or Quas in the top lane split pushing so hard on Trundle that you want to pull your hair out. Everybody's getting in and dominate, like we said, even with a little bit of jungle pressure in the early game as he gets every game, was able to stave that off this time. All right, so let's replay. look at this again. Kiwi Kid, uh, one man solo mission right Quite there. Quite far up there. Yeah. Everybody else is worried about dodging the whole yeah. time. They don't want to get hit by cocoons or uh, death sentences or spears yeah. or javelins, actually. They are javelins, uh, as Freak pointed out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's just so much poke there for Curse and definitely a disconnect for Dignitas. Still a very deadly dig. They have a lot of power. They're able to build up. They're keeping up in CS. There's a few kills and assists here to make up a bit of the gold that they've been missing. Last Whisper and that Lizard onto Crumbs is Kha'Zix. He's had a few good plays this game, but he's really trying to create it for the rest of the team. Trying to get Cruiser going, trying to get Skara going. Like you said, had that death cap now coming in. I have to say, this is this is one of the best poke comps too. Trundle is a he was a classic member of uh, yeah. sieging up poke comps just because of the pillar. They're just missing Janna. And yeah, <laughs> there you go. He zones out the entire team. It could be used for disengage as well. Mm. And they've got the two skill shot CCs in addition to all the damage that Nilly throws out. This is just, at this point, oh. it's, it's a very annoying game for Dig to play. It's, they pretty much have to constantly be dodging in all directions. So much. Somebody's oh. going to get hit. Oh, it's coming back. Look out. He takes a big jump there. Hot foot coming in for Crumbs. He's got to get out of the fight real fast. 26 minutes in, the inhibitor turret. Second one is going to be falling here. The inhibitor as well will fall right after. Curse coming up big. Man, this is one of those teams where if you go up against an A-Ram, then you're just <laughs> crying all day long. And Curse able to get that bottom inhibitor here. Just commanding lead of the entire map. They don't have a lot of vision down. I guess they could uh, pretty much put it down whenever they want, though. They can invade easy on Dignitas. Two inhibitors down. There's very little control. Yeah, really in the driver's seat this game. Dignitas is still, and they have to put all five members up to a turret. We usually see Cruiser off in the side doing what he can. With Baron down, he'll be able to get mid lane, I'm sorry, bottom lane pushed out a little bit. So they don't have to worry about it. and Hopefully get a fight that will be in their favor. In that video, I think uh, it was Cutie Pie who said Curse are not a team uh, that would annihilate us. I don't know if those are his exact words. Oh, oh man. Fog of War is not oh, your he friend. Him out of the air. Whoa, stand aside. Stand aside indeed. Looks like Boy Boy is going to be coming up with that one, though. One for one so far. The fight's still a bit chaotic in the top. It will be the overall double kill. Yeah. We see Crumbs going and Kiwi Kick. Curse still come out ahead, even with the bush being prepped there. They didn't have Cruiser, so it wasn't a full commitment from Dig. Mm. And Curse really just have that one lane to go down here, so should be a good night. Trundle is so menacing like that as well. Once he puts down the Frozen Domain, just sends everyone into a frenzy, because you know he can be on your AD carry. He can be on anybody in just a few seconds. Right now, on the turret, taking yeah. that up. They're just gonna face tank it. They have so much brute force coming into the base that Dick can't answer. Champions, once you get like real high attack speed like that, it's, it's one of the most comical things in our game, I think. <laughs> uh, the noise of him just beating on something. Okay, so here's a great uh, job from Kiwi Kid. Landing at everything right there. Full stun combo. Crumbs gets knocked out of the air. Wow. Uh, by Cop, but he goes back in for the kill, able to get it. Quas teleports in on the lantern from Bunny Poo Poo, and they clean house. I definitely like Cop's builds coming in here. We've seen a lot of AD carries kind of shy away from the shiv since yeah. the critical works differently, but he's, he's still putting it in, getting yeah. it in the belt. It gives them a little bit of more wave clear, mm -hmm. but yeah, a lot of AD carries 
not liking the ship anymore after the change to the uh, double rolling for crits. For a fan of dancers. Cop's still very happy with that one. <laughs> A little bit of love from the fans. We'll see what Curse can continue to do with a 20-second Baron countdown. Looks like they're in position for it quite well. Nice push in the top lane. Quas still, or Cruiser rather, still having to tend to the bottom lane. They're in a pretty good position here once Cop All gets right. to the party. So, at this point, from Dignitas' point of view, point of view you mm -hmm. gotta make some sort of desperate play. Their base is non-existent. Uh, they have nothing, uh, no defensive structures. They're trying to help out the inhibitors, so. Maybe it's another bush attempt. Uh, maybe it's a uh, last stand at the Nexus turrets, but they gotta make gotta make some risky play here to get back in. And I like these six wards that Curse is walking over they have right now. Yeah. Just kind of lining up everything. And then there's two on the top, so there's eight wards just in one general area for Curse. Looks like they're not gonna need really anything behind them. It's all about what's in front. And that's gonna be the win. The Nexus almost ready to go down here. 30 minutes in, a very definitive game from Curse. Looking right for the flank. 13,000 gold. Cruises around the back, but he's been spotted. <laughs> oh, wow. That's not the way they want to start out a fight. Ooh. That's just one spear landing, too. Thought they were going to be able to zero him out there. Crumbs not able to come back with tier two boots yet. He's still on the, the tier ones. No home guards coming in for dig. So this is going to be even a harder base defense. Quaz getting back up to it. Probably going to throw the Frozen Domain down for safety. And to just crush the inhibitor. One shot after the other. Drag is the scent. Maybe what they need. Dignitas is not behind. The communication isn't there to follow the fight. It's just a calling going across. Kiwi Kid gets grabbed. He's going to be the next one to go down. They are serving themselves up on a platter here. Curse is going to say thank you very much. Another grab coming in from Crumbs. They get a little bit of dessert on that one. They want some more as well. The buffet table's open and Curse is going hard. The plates aren't clean yet. Skara gets away, he pays the check, but the Nexus is gonna pay for it even harder. 15 to three in this game. They got it. So, so clean from Curse, this game. Wow, every single member playing really well. There's a the Nexus going down 31-25 on the clock. It looks like they want a few more if they can get onto the fountain. A sigh of relief there, but Curse pulling out a great win. Man, they gotta be happy with that one. This is a way for Curse to finish strong. They still have another game today. There's another game, uh, the last game of the day is uh, Curse. So yeah. this is a really, really big game for them to win, moving towards that last one. They really needed this pickup. There he is, Boy Boy, getting a good cheer from the crowd. Crowd obviously with the rest of the team. Quas bringing out that trundle again. He said he'd be different and innovative. Sometimes you got to resort back to what everybody else is doing, but he still does it in his own way. He definitely is a rush down type of player. And it's fun to watch everybody that's come now onto the team of Curse as they've come together. He's taken a few here's and there's, but it looks like we got a pretty solid squad. Quasi teleports, dominates, uh, securing of his own jungle, and then his ganks following up. Bunny Foo Foo on his favorite got champion, his delivering with that thresh. A lot of very good death sentence, uh, as well as a couple good lanterns, saving his teammates. And Boy Boy very strong on Nidalee, doing what Nidalee does. And that was a really methodically played game from Curse. You go across some of the, the scores, just from top to bottom, 406, 106, 408, 428. <laughs> they positioned correctly. They controlled the map correctly. It wasn't just start to finish win for them. They made sure they got all their priorities straight and they hit them, check mark, one after the other. And that was a great game from Curse. Yeah, that's one of their best games. Yeah, actually. easy to say on that. Dominate come, came out strong. We said he'd get the counter aggression from uh, Crumbs in the beginning on, that, on the counter jungle. Mm -hmm. He did, and they staved it off, even with Skara coming over early as well because Boy Boy was pushed up in lane. They still did it well. They had the bottom lane response right in time. Looked like Crumbs did not get to execute his battle plan. The early invade on yeah. blue didn't work out. Then he spent a lot of time bottom. When he finally got the bottom gank off, yeah. they didn't get a kill, just some summoners. And, you know, the beginning of that game looked like he didn't, wasn't able to have the impact.